Okay, guys, so Takara is starting to reveal some stuff. Uh, we have a ton of things that they showed off with some official images today, not too long ago. And I'm going to be giving you guys my opinion on all this stuff, as always. So, first things first, we have some Rise of the Beast stuff that is due out March of next year. And we have, I think this is Nova King, he's pretty much the same. Uh, and then there's the elusive, target exclusive Optimus Mold, which is getting KO'd at this point. So, I mean, there's there's going to be some options out there. And of course, if you want the actual official version, you've got another chance with this Takara release. You're going to have to pay an import price, but hey, at least you have somewhat more of a chance to get a hold of the official version of this mold. And what would be the 40th anniversary of Transformers next year if it wasn't for some retro reissues this time of G1 coming out sometime next year or late this year? We don't know for sure yet, I don't think. Let me look here. No, I think it's pretty much just going to be revealed at Walmart's Collector Con, which is next week. So maybe these will come out late this year around the holiday season like Christmas or early next year around like spring or late fall or something. But we have some official images here of Blaster and Soundwave in their G1 goodness. And, you know, I always wanted Soundwave as a kid. Uh, I didn't grow up with G1, obviously. I'm, I'm not that old. But when I was a little kid going online and watching reviews back in the day, I would always be attracted to the Soundwave figure and some other G1 mold. So I might get this if I got some extra funds whenever this figure comes out. But I am sure this Blaster and Soundwave are going to be on deep discount. Uh, Soundwave comes with Ravage and Laserbeak, which seems to be the go-to cassettes these days. And Blaster comes with... Oh boy, I'm forgetting his name. Isn't it Steeljaw? Mm, I don't have Blaster's cassettes memorized as well as I do Soundwave. There's that. Um, not too much else to go off here. The boxes look decent. You got the G1 retro goodness, and then it says 40 years of Transformers there on the side. So yeah, these look these look decent. There's no uh chrome on these, so it's just you know straight paint apps and it looks they tried to get it more accurate to the show, I suppose, too, so that's pretty cool to look at. And via 1999.com.japan, we have first official images, not that blurry image that I covered a few days ago. These are some nice crisp images, way more in-depth than that one image. Uh, for Masterpiece Rhinox, I mean, this is, this is insane, guys. Um, this looks really great. You got the screaming head sculpt, or the yelling head sculpt for when he's fighting or transforming, I guess. And, uh, the accessories, yeah, you got the interchangeable face, you got his two guns, you got a spark chamber effect piece there. It looks like there's some sort of flight stand accessory. And there's this gadget that I remember from Beast Wars, but I can't put my finger on what it was or what it does from the episode. So let me know in the comments below if any of you guys remember. But that is pretty cool. Some decent accessories with him. Uh, curious to find out the price of this thing. I don't see it listed here on TFW or anything. It's probably going to be around uh, maybe 150 200 215 or something like that, which I know my price range for a figure that I already have a really nice chug figure of, which is the Thrilling 30 release. So I probably won't be getting this, but this is so cool to see him next to Cheetor and Primal from Masterpiece and see <laughs> Primal riding Rhinox like they did a few times in the show. So this is a pretty good Masterpiece release. I'm just not feel on the modern masterpiece price points continuing the beast wars reveals from takara we have the next two pack which again we saw a blurry image of a few days ago that i covered in a video but now we have official images nice and crisp coming in via hobby search's website the starscream and waspinator two pack specifically ghost of starscream 
And this isn't a bad two-pack. I probably won't be getting this because I just don't have a use for the brittle, clear plastic Starscream of a mold that I don't really like to begin with. And Waspinator, uh, there's already a few options out there for him, so I don't want to spend, how much is this, like $70 or $80 or something for this two-pack? And this is due out in March of 2024 as well. And another update with some more crisp images from a few days ago. We have the Nemesis 3 pack with Megatron, Shockwave, and Soundwave. This is going to be around uh, 16,500 yen, which translates to around $111 USD, due out March of next year, and yeah, I don't have any use for this. I'm anticipating a new G1 leader class Megatron within the next year, two years, three years, so I'm good with my Siege Megatron as a mediocre stand-in for now, and I already have Earthrise Soundwave, and I already have Siege Shockwave, so I just don't have a use for this three-pack over $100, and I could just get this throne that comes with Studio Series Starscream on deep clearance for like 25 bucks. So yeah, I don't really find a need for this three pack. And the big shebang, the meat and potatoes of the reveals for today, Legacy United Voyager Silverbolt, which seems like he's going to be the wave one for Takara, maybe replacing Thundertron. I theorized this in my last video when the blurry image leaked. Um, you know, Prime didn't do so hot over in China, so maybe they want to push him back to Wave 2 or maybe even Wave 4 or something and put out a more beloved character from a series that was pretty well received in Japan. So uh, Silverbolt might be Wave 1 here, and or he might just be an early reveal from Wave 2. So who knows what's going to happen in the future for this figure in terms of Takara's side of things, but this looks really dope. Uh, this is a really clean Voyager class. I don't think I've been hyped for a Voyager class in a while since... I don't know, since, like, Antagony in Inferno. I'm um, trying to think back on the Voyagers that have dropped this year. Leo Convoy, I was a little hyped for. Uh, Tarn, I was a little bit. War for Cybertron Optimus, a little bit. But Silverbolt here, I cannot wait to get my hands on this figure early next year. Oh, man, this looks great. His sword weapon thingies look dope. The beast mode looks pretty cool in the Beast Wars fashion with how the limbs turn into the limbs for the robot mode so it just looks great ah uh, man and i've been re-watching beast wars episodes lately too and man the ankle pivot the wrist swivel i was worried he wouldn't have a wrist swivel like what seems to be the case with tiger hawk but nope he's got the wrist swivel there for you know he's a sword wielding character so that helps a lot with stop motions and photography and poses in general so i am really liking this the paint looks decent it would have been nice if there was more silver paint on him as opposed to more of just the gray plastic but where there is paint it does count and it does really elevate the sculpt and the overall look of this figure the shiny metallic gold that's all over this thing looks really cool and you got the red in the center there of his stomach which is obviously really accurate to his design those bright big yellow eyes on that on that wolf head sculpt is absolutely gorgeous oh man i cannot wait to get my hands on this figure now this looks like a proper voyager class but uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. That's all I have to cover for news today, so far at least. I don't know, something could leak or something crazy could happen, as always. But yeah, let me know, let me know down in the comments below what do you guys think about all these reveals. Uh, Rhinox, Silverbolt. All my social medias are linked down below. TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. If you want to message me for diorama commissions, I make dioramas for people. You could either DM me on any of my social media accounts, or you could also hit me up on my email, which is also down below. But uh, yeah, guys, thank you all for watching this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!